friends, welcome to channel Creative Art. My name is Dilma and today we are going to paint sea turtle watercolor painting. All the materials required to make this watercolor painting are mentioned in the description box below with their link from where you can buy watercolor materials as well and they are also shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativeathome.com. So enjoy painting friends. Here friends, first of all I listed all the materials which we require for watercolor painting. I use Camelin Artist Watercolor, it's a pack of 18 shades. And secondly, I use a Brusto Artist Watercolor Paper. This is a 25% cotton, but you can also use 100% cotton. This is especially what I use for wet on wet technique. And secondly, I use Chitrapat Watercolor Paper Pack. These are made from 100% cotton fiber and are acid free. These are especially used for watercolor, postcolor and acrylic painting this is 270 grams the heavier the better papers I'll show you four types of brushes I usually use a flat brush 38 mm for flat wash a round thin long hair number one brush and two simple hair brushes round number six and flat hair number six and thirdly I use a very clean white palette for mixing watercolors and two glass containers one for fresh water and one for washing my brushes sometimes i also use masking fluid and most of the times i do use masking tape and food always will require tissue papers for wiping out extra colors or cleaning our brushes okay so let's start here friends you can see that i have already sketched a turtle on my paper and these are the colors we are going to use this time vibrant hue sap green cobalt blue hue for coloring the body structure of turtle crimson lake somewhere if required for creating a kind of magenta or pinkish shade yellow orange and lemon yellow for giving the texture and also the background okay so let's start I'm going to pour all the colors on my palette so here first of all I have poured yellow orange and lemon yellow in my palette and I'm thinking to color the background part first which is quite a sandy look so i'll just wet the surface from where i need to color okay mix a lot of yellow hue mix a very little of yellow orange Okay, so now we'll let this background get dry first. Also take some yellow orchid color and make few drops split on this area so that it may look like sand. Okay, so here I have taken some raw umber, sap green and crimson lake in my palette. And I will mix some of the crimson lake and rhombor to get a desired color. The Lord chip. Using some lemon yellow. Use some crimson lake and bit lemon yellow. I'm using a bit of Rossina. Taking some lemon yellow in my brush. Using yellow orchid. Hold on, just let us escape and fly away tonight. Here in my palette, I have taken cobalt blue and red in hue, and mixing this both, I'm going to color the top of the turtle.
is a very light proportion of cobalt blue. Okay? Here I'm using some Rossina. A bit lemon yellow over here. A bit of cobalt blue. Here I'm using cobalt blue. Mixing with vibrant hue. Let there be a thin presence of vibrant green in the center of the sturdy eye that will make the appearance look more beautiful. Okay, that's my little structure. Mixing crimson red and lemon yellow, we have created this kind of orange color and just make two tappings over here. That's perfect. Fire. Then we'll use some cobalt blue, a very light quantity. Put in a bit lemon yellow, lighting this part a bit using just water in my brush. Taking some lemon yellow and tap it over the corners. You mix it some, only just some part with crimson red. see the color is a bit extra you can just wet the part and using your napkin just remove the extra color okay. using my thin long brush I'll just take some cobalt blue and make the desired shape Small scales using combination of vibrant blue and cobalt blue. Now I'm using cobalt blue color 
and filling up these boxes using a thin long hair brush. Sometimes use just cobalt blue and sometimes use cobalt blue mixed with vibrant hue. Now as we are moving towards the right, we'll make these shades of these boxes much lighter than the boxes on the left, okay? Right side must look much more lighter. If I want any box to be light, I'll just pour some water in my dry brush and wet the area and then I'm going to start working with that water and it will also absorb some of the color particles out of the paper so these parts will be light. Adding a big crimson red mixing with lemon yellow. We'll obtain a bit orangish color and that is what is required over here. Just a few splash of it, then some more lemon yellow. Take a darker amount of cobalt blue and shape this side. Using a bit raw sina to just give the shape and for the surface. And this way it will look a bit darker. Mix it with vibrant hue. Some of the raw but some splash over here. Now using a very light combination of cobalt blue and vibrant hue, we'll make some patches over here. I'm using a very dark shade of cobalt blue. I'm coloring the top part, the cover of the turtle. Here I have taken a very dark combination of cobalt blue and vibrant hue. Now on the top of this part, we will be adding some of the lemon yellow color to bring a different kind of effect out. Now here I am using a bit cobalt blue to create some details and I also create a bit shadow using cobalt blue over here. Use a wet brush to minimize 
recognize the difference. Sandy effect using vermilion hue, lemon yellow, mix it. Uh, before that, we need okay to create a sandy effect. We'll cover our turtle using paper spray, a mixture of vermilion hue and lemon yellow on these parts. I think uh, this is quite a good effect we have given it, and this is how it looks. So I'll let it get dry first, then I'll show you how does it looks, okay? Now friends, your watercolor painting has got dried up, so I'll remove this tape. So friends, this is how our watercolor painting looks when it has got dried up and completed. Please do tell me in the comments below how did you find it. And if you did like this video friends, please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.